Welcome, my name's Kanan and this is a list of 10 games in no particular order of games that I've reviewed in the past and games that I feel should be played because they're that good. Some of them are on offer, some are on offer quite a while, uh, quite often, and that means you can pick up a bargain as well. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Hope you enjoy the video, like and subscribe as always, and let's go! Okay, so the first game is the Stanley Parable, the ultra deluxe game. It's just a puzzle game. It has about a billion different endings, and that's kind of the point, is to find all the endings. This game is so good. Like, I was just obsessed with it for so long, you would not believe. I just finding all the different places and just doing weird ass things like all the time uh, it's all voiced which was a definite plus for me this game if you've not played it you seriously should play it at some point because it's just really really good uh, the production values are so high you would not believe just a lot of thought and love have gone into this game definitely one to be one of the top games I've ever played, full stop. Next up we have Dungeons and Dread Rock. And I'm going to stop saying this is the best game I've ever played. Because basically, yeah, mostly all of these should be. This is a top down, as you can see, kind of adventure sort of story puzzle game. You basically go from number one dungeon all the way up to a hundred. Or is it down? I think it might be down. And basically work out different puzzles all the way through. Again, there are voices in this one, not just in my head. And the productions, the production value is kind of like average, but done really well for what they had. And the puzzles are well thought out. And it's just a fun game. This is it's funny. It's got loads to do. And yeah, I. I probably will be saying go and buy this but I'm, I'm kind of guessing that a lot of people have already bought it already because I think because this was highly regarded when it first came out and I can see why so bit orchard animal family is a kind of well to me it kind of like looks like a tochi gari game you know, one of those ones where you get those little creatures and things and basically, yeah, you know, uh, it kind of looks like that to me. But it's kind of like a farm simulator, almost like kind of reminiscent of Stardew Valley, but obviously looking completely different. There are different sections you have to go through. You can befriend animals and you can unlock different areas. It's actually quite good. Now, when I when it first came out, I was kind of like in two minds of whether it's actually worth the actual money that they were asking for, because it was a lot. But there are quite a few different things you can do in this game, and it's often on offer. And for that reason, if you can pick this up for like, uh, I believe it's 89p or whatever, this straight away goes to the top of my list and it is on offer quite a few times i think a lot of people will get a kick out of this one and and enjoy it quite a bit for that price and it was one of those ones that sort of like came out and went straight on offer almost literally and i don't know why people do that i don't know why the games do that kind of like devalues your game but but it is what it is and basically it's definitely worth it for like 89p and when it's on offer just as i said it's quite often on offer Go grab it. Honestly, go grab it. Writhe is a game that completely took me by surprise. It is a time, you know, try and last as long as you can in an environment. There are different environments. And basically, you're trying to kill all these worms, as you can see. You use different weapons. You can upgrade or pick up upgrades for your weapons and the like. And yeah, it's just such a good game with such a buzz to it. Uh, it occasionally goes on sale this is probably one that i could actually say it's worth buying even off sale and yeah it's just such an incredible game all the different areas were different enough to make them warrant to 
play each level as it was it did have some kind of glitches when it was released and it, and it did have some places here and there where you can kind of almost cheat but i think these have been removed so it's not so bad now i think if you like this sort of twitch type shootery fun i think you could do a lot worse than this game i spent a lot of time on it it also has like these different filters that you can put up on the screen so that the actual screen or look looks different yeah okay so i'm guessing this may be a bit controversial because i'm guessing this ain't going to be everyone's cup of tea but the red Connolly red Connolly collection there's three of them out now they're okay they're an acquired taste but they're fucking good <laughs> to be honest with you the story's like just out there and i appreciate and love that sort of thing the actual gameplay is kind of simple but not too simple there's plenty to do the story's not too short but it's not too long that it outstays its welcome and yeah it, it's it's just a fun game to play as I said, it is a bit out there and some people might get offended, blah, 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 blah. But for me, it's not too bad of a game. And I can see a lot of people enjoying these. They don't go on sale too often. But again, if you're into this sort of game, I, I think you'll probably be happy paying full price for them. And I believe there's a physical copy of them all as well. And uh, yeah, that's uh, definitely worth getting. Golfed. Golf Club Wasteland. Some of these are really hard to pronounce. I know, should be easy. So basically, this is a side-scrolling golfing game set in different worlds. And as you can see, you're a spaceman playing golf. I believe, if I remember correctly, these are different planets that uh, and different areas that were going to be destroyed or something like that. So they basically built golf courses on them and they progressively get harder. But there are some nice little details like these, which is pretty cool. And also the puzzling element is quite cool as well. But I do like miniature golf and I'm guessing that's probably why I like this. Because it's miniature golf in a big world. Another game that goes on offer here and there is The Last Survey. Now this is basically a story game and it tells it with, as you can see, these neat little like graphics, like very minimalistic type way. And it kind of all relies on the story, but there are different routes you can take. So if you get something wrong, you have to do it again. It's, it's kind of a bit odd like that, but I did enjoy it. It's a, it's a nice little game. It's relaxing. It's not too stressful and uh yeah I, I guess i recommend it because i enjoyed it I, I did enjoy it and there's not many of these sort of games around that you can play like this and yeah I, I think it's a bit of a shame to be honest with you everyone just wants all the big graphics and all that lot nowadays don't they and another one that goes on sale here and there cyberhook now if you want a game to kind of like make you feel Ark, a game that I have been waiting for so long to basically, well, all right, it already come out, but the reviews were so bad, I couldn't get it. And then all of a sudden, one day, they fixed it all, and then they dropped it to half price, and then they gave it a deal. <laughs> uh, and that's where I came into it and picked it up. So, yeah. If you like Ark and you want a Nintendo Switch to be able to move around freely with it, now is your chance. It works, it's great fun, and yeah, it just has all that building, dinosaur, survival fun that, well, basically we remember when it first came out on the PC, if people have played it on PC. If not, then... Yeah, I'd, I'd pick this up if you're a survival game lover, because it, it will definitely do what you want. 
Yet again, another game that goes on discount. What comes after? This is a story based story <laughs> game. Basically, you're on a train, you pass out, you wake up in a different area, and it's basically all about life, how how like people are destroying the earth and everything. It, it's definitely got a message, it definitely is a bit of a tearjerker near the end. And it's got more to say than I'm going to say, because obviously I don't want to spoil the game or, or the ending. But yeah, if you like your story based games, this does, as I said, go on offer quite often. And I think it's just one of those games that you can pick up, play. You'll probably never play it again, but I, th I think you'll appreciate the story. Okay, so that is your lot for this week. I am going to do more of these and let me know whether you actually want to see more of these. Did I go too much in depth? Did I not give too many details? You know, enough details. If you want more, I can do more. I just didn't want people to, you know, I used to start rolling over from too much info because they're old games and a lot of people probably know them already. And I have reviews on them for you to go and actually peruse and, you know, anything that catches your eye, you can go and look at anyway. So hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for joining me. I'm thinking of doing a worse one, you know, what not to get and maybe some more because this isn't all the ones I've really enjoyed. There are more. So, yeah, uh, as I said, hit that like and subscribe button. Take care of yourselves wherever you are. My name's Kanan and this has been my 10 games that you should have played or be playing or pick up, whatever, because life is better when we game together.